Hello, test cheaters. Today, somebody asked if there was a way to pass a webcam to their virtual machine, as a lot of their tests that they're taking require the use of a webcam. So I wouldn't advise doing this. I believe that professors are smart enough to tell that you are on Google trying to figure out the answers to certain questions um, and, and that they'll be able to detect it, you know. But it is possible to get away with it if you're sneaky. So it's worth a try, I guess, if you really don't know the material and you want to get through it. So I'll show you guys how to do it now. We're going to head back to the VirtualBox site. It's going to be the same website that we originally downloaded it from, and we're going to look for the VirtualBox extension pack. Let that download. You don't need to touch it. It's a pretty small file. Now we need to open VirtualBox, and we're going to add the extension pack. So you're going to go to File, Preferences, Extensions, and we're going to look for that extension pack. So here it is. Default is my Downloads folder. We're going to click Install and agree and allow so now that that's gone through we're gonna click OK um, and then there's there's another thing we have to do gonna have to go in we're gonna have to go into the settings cog in the virtual box manager we're gonna click USB and we want to enable the USB controller the virtual machine won't detect your USB camera unless you you check this box. Additionally, it's probably a good idea to add an audio device of some sort because when taking a test with Respondus Lockdown Browser, it needs to record your audio the entire time. Um, and especially when and when you set it up, when you're setting up the webcam, it has you record a five-second video, so you can use that video to determine whether or not your input audio device is actually going through. So in my case. I have a Corsair Virtuoso, so I'm going to pass this through, and then I'm going to select OK, but you want to make sure that this box is checked. You can accept the defaults here. Now before we launch the virtual machine, I just want to show you guys that the camera is working right now. It's pointed towards my the inside of my computer and at a rubber duck. So now we're going to start the virtual machine. So once you log into your virtual machine, you can go ahead and minimize it, and now we're going to need to head to the command prompt, and we're going to enter in three different commands. So I, I will paste these commands in the description so that you guys can easily see them. And you guys can just paste them right into your command prompt. But this first one here is going to change our directory to the location that VirtualBox is installed, as you can see here, and then we're going to list this next command is going to let us list all of the webcams that our computer is currently detecting. So as, as you can see here, we've got a USB camera being detected. And then this next command is going to allow us to actually attach or direct our... Oops, I hit the Enter key by a mistake. Whoops. This this next command is going to allow us to throw our webcam at our virtual machine. So we're going to point it to our virtual machine. So it's going to be VBox Manage, Control VM, and then you're going to need quotation marks here, and you're going to actually need to put the name of your virtual machine in between the quotation marks. So you can determine the name of your virtual machine by going back into VirtualBox Manager and looking here. So ours is named Orange Shaman, and we're going to type webcam attach, and then a period followed by the number associated with the camera that was detected in this step here. So we're looking at period 1 to get the USB camera. So that's what we're going to input down here. So then you're going to hit enter. And no news here is good news. You don't want to see any output. That means that it successfully worked. Heading back into the virtual machine now, we're going to go to the camera app, default camera app built in on Windows, and you'll see that we can now see the rubber duck inside my computer. You can see that the webcam's working now. So now we're going to make sure that our audio devices work, 
And as you can see, the microphone is picking up my audio. I'm going to run this registry editor so that we can launch Lockdown Browser without it knowing that we're using a virtual machine. Once you're here, if you click Help Center, it'll allow you to test your webcam. So you're going to select I'm using Lockdown Browser with a webcam, and then we're going to do webcam check. So as you can see, the webcam is successfully working here. And now what, what actually happened was, while I was recording this, since I passed my microphone to my virtual machine, it wasn't actually able to capture any of the audio with the software I used to record my audio. So you won't actually be able to hear the audio here, sadly, but it did work. So I'm just going to skip forward past all of this, but the audio did work. So you're going to want to go through here and verify that your audio is working before you actually launch any exams that you take with Respondus on your virtual machine that require a webcam. All right, and that's it. That's all I've got for you guys. You can now use Respondus Lockdown Browser in your virtual machine with the working audio device as well as your webcam.